Welcome everyone to my channel Academos and today's topic is infinitive. Infinitive is very useful grammar. First of all, you, will, uh, you must remember that participle infinitive and gerund. These are the three pillars on which a largest part of English language it depends. So, infinitive. What is infinitive? I have written it. Infinitive, non-finite verb. Infinitive is a non-finite verb. That's why what is non-finite verb you will have to understand. What is Non-finite verb, infinitive. First of all, let me write. Infinitive is a non-finite verb. Non-finite verb. Infinitive is a non-finite verb. What is non-finite verb? non finite verb let me give you some example examples number 1 i go to play I went to play. Number three, I am going to play. Number four, I have gone to play. Number five, will go to play. Number six, I have, I had gone to play. Number seven, I was going to play. Let, let us take the examples. What is non-finite verb? Because non-finite verb should be given importance. Because infinitive is a non-finite verb. What is infinitive? Infinitive is non-finite verb. Non-finite verb. Infinitive is non-finite verb. So, you should understand what is non-finite verb. Without understanding non-finite verbs, you cannot go into the analysis of infinity. Non-finite verb. Why, what is, why are the non-finite verbs here? I go to play. I go to play. This is the finite verb. I And non-finite verb here, to play. To play. To play. To play. To play. These are the non-finite verb. This is infinity. This is infinity. Here, I, am, uh, I have taken only one verb play, but I have put it, uh, put the verb uh, play into different tenses. Here, you will see that the verb, uh, finite verb are changing, but non-finite verb are not changing. This is the definition of non-finite verb. Okay? What is the definition of non-finite verb? Non-finite verb. Non-finite verb does not change with number with subject and tense of the verb with subject and tense of the and subject and tense then you will see that the to play, to play, this is a simple present tense, this is a simple past tense. In uh, simple present tense, go is used, I go to play, that means I will the jet. But in uh, the simple past, go changed into when. This is finite verb. Finite verb changes with subject, some finite verb changes with uh, number, person, and tense. Tense uh, in uh, simple present tense, 
present tense and uh, simple past tense go changed into went and uh, uh, same uh, present continuous go change uh, that from go is changing into uh, am going but play i uh, i go to play i go to play that is uh, go there is the finding verb go and play hoche non finding verb play what is play play non finding verb but in play is the same play is same everywhere to play to play to play to play to play present perfect i have gone to play but play does not change the play does not change here that everywhere the play is the same and this is why it is called non finding verb because non finding verb is unchangeable as according to unchangeable despite uh, unchangeable uh, <coughs> despite subject uh, so subject and verb subject and verb a non finding verb does not change and infinitive is infinitive falls into the into the section of non finding verb infinitive just like gerund infinitive also falls into the section of non finding verb that's why here you will remember to play to play here hoche i was going to play the past continuous i had gone to play the past perfect i will go to play simple future i have gone to play at the present perfect i am going to play present continuous i went to play uh, simple past i go to play simple present so go is changing go is changing as according to tense as according to tense even as a number if we find it verb will change find it verb will change he goes to play he goes to play goes go is but play remains unchanged but play remains unchanged because it is non finite verb and it falls into the category of infinitive it falls into the category of infinitive this this explanation is necessary this explanation is necessary because without learning non finite verb you cannot learn uh, without learning finite uh, finite verb you, you cannot learn non finite verb that's why what is uh, the difference and the infinitive what is infinitive 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 is verb it is formed it's, it infinitive is formed generally infinitive is formed by adding to by adding to before verb before verb infinitive is formed by adding to before verb infinitive to you have say to verb body jemon to play to play to go to do to dance to sing to drive to destroy this is a general form of infinitive all the bengali pattern will be in bengali the in term bengali terminology what will happen ekhane bangla sense jeta je sense ta thakbe te ami khelte jai te ami porte jai te ami eta porte chai te amar she nachte chai te she gaan korte jacche te gaan korte she gadi chalate chai he wants to drive te this te will be used in bengali pattern in bengali sense te will there will be the usage of te and infinitive is generally formed to this is the index this is the uh, identification to verb er age to bolbe to do to call to call to do to dance this this is the infinitive there is the call is a verb but it is not working as verb it is working as noun so infinitive ke infinitive works it works as noun it works as noun just like gerund it works as noun but in gerund ing is used but in infinitive to is used to preposition to is used before the verb so this is and this is why infinitive is verb verb it is verb verb function verb plus noun and the action of verb uh, gets missed a noun appears a noun appears ha huh, this is you will understand how uh, how is uh, how the action of verb is missed i want to play if you say, uh, see the sentence i want to play here you will see you, uh, you will see 
the force of action is here the force of action is not here the force of action is not here i want to play uh, he goes i like to i like to eat i like to eat vegetable uh, vegetables i like to eat fruits okay i like to eat fruits uh, the function ami phal khete pochondo kori pochondo kori see where the force of action action force of action is is found like not te ekhane ki hocche khete to eat to eat is does not uh, qualify the state of action to eat does not qualify the state of action you cannot get the force of action of any uh, any tenses of uh, of any uh, any tenses you will not get the force of action here so tumra kokhono i pabe na that's why it becomes a non finite verb and it works as it works as noun that's why it is infinitive just like gerund infinitive also works as noun just like gerund infinitive also works as noun so you will have to understand this and now this uh, what uh, infinitive the types of infinitive types of infinitive the types of infinitive two types there are two types of infinitives number 1 simple or noun infinitive number 2 gerundial gerundial or qualifying infinitive gerundial or qualify infinitive number 1 simple or noun infinitive number 2 gerundial or qualifying infinitive ha huh? what is simple infinitive remember simple infinitive works the structure of simple infinitive is as same as the structure of gerund simple infinitive let us give me some example let us give me simple infinitive that will work completely work as noun simple infinitive simple infinitive it is just like gerund gerund is used gerund is formed by ing and infinitive is uh, formed by to subject of verb verb subject number 1 point verb subject when a subject of verb this is the first point what is subject of verb example to r is simon manush matrai dosh hoy to forgive is a noble quality noble virtue to forgive is a noble virtue number 3 then i am giving you some examples this is the sub verb sub verb subject verb subject that means hocche verb er age boshe infinitive ekhane two word this is not the action there is not the not the uh, force of action uh this is the uh, it is acting which as noun to walk just like gerund to walk is a good exercise to walk is a good exercise this is how infinitive simple infinitive is formed this is how the simple infinitive is formed and it is a uh, verb subject and subject of verb what is subject of verb here the verb is is the finite verb verb what is finite verbs finite verb is 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 and this uh, infinitive the formation of infinitive has been used before verb that's why it is called verb subject of verb to year to r mane hocche dosh kora ekhane kintu it is there is no force of action to forgive khoma kore dewa khoma kora mane this is just it is working as noun and to walk hata to walk to swim to swim ekhi bhabe similarly to swim is a good is similarly good exercise to swim that means the satar not satar kata if you put the uh, put to swim in 12 tenses we will not find any force of action of uh, action of verb just and uh, here the function of uh, the swim is becoming ekta noun satar hata ekta noun forgive ekta hocche kono kichu ekta hocche signify korche noun er kono kichu signify korche this is a subject of verb and next object of verb object of verb 
verbal object. What is verbal object? His hobby is to draw. He likes now uh, his hobby is to draw. This is not I am giving you the different example. He likes to sing. Likes to sing. I like to help. He was compelled. To do it, he comes to call me. These are the object of verb. What is object of verb? To sing, to help, to do, to call. That these are there is no force of action of verb. There is the force of verb uh, action of noun, and it is working as object of verb. Object of verb how? How is it working as object of verb? Verb, 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 verb? What is the verb? Verb which likes. This is the final verb. Likes. He likes. He pachandha kore. The force of action. That is the force of action. He likes. Ami pachandha kore. Simple uh, present, simple present. He was compelled. She baddha hoi chadu. Simple past passive. I, he comes. She ashe. There is the force of action. But there is no force of action. Call, to do, to help, to say. There is no force of action. This is the object of verb. Now next one. What is the next one? Subject of verb, object of verb. Object of preposition. Object of preposition. Object of preposition. What is object of preposition? That means the infinitive will be used after uh, preposition. Object of preposition. Now, we'll make the example. So, the, uh, see the example. Uh, object of preposition. He is about, the old man is about to die. The old man is about to die. The train is about to start. The train is about to start. I am about to Do it. This is the object of uh, object of preposition. About preposition about tapar to about to tapar about to. These are the object of ob, object uh, object of preposition. To about preposition tapar to plus verb one about uh, to plus verb one uh, because uh, infinitive is always formed by adding to 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 and to. And there is no force of action of verb. There is a force of noun. This is what is the object of preposition. Next, the complement of verb. Complement of a verb. Complement of a verb. His hobby is. His hobby is to draw. He seems to be gentle. His intention is to harm others. This is the object of object uh, complement of verb. Complement. This is complement of verb. Verb complement is your ability. His hobby, our hobby, hobby that we draw. Did the the whole sentence that we complete for say infinity. The aka that is a hobby. That hobby that is aka aka that hobby. Not akche ek ekche ek akche lo onik kundre akche ak be. Ita kono na kintu aka. This is and it is complete for say verb. He seems to be gentle. That bija kake mujhachhe. That hawa ke mujhachhe. Bija kake mujhachhe. Hawa ke mujhachhe. Complete. And that's why this is a compliment of her. His intention is to harm others. Tar intention ta ki onno ka aghat kara hoy. Tar udesh ki tar hoche he ek kara harm kara tar hoche tar intention onno the. This is what is the compliment of her. Tar ek how many types of simple noun simple infinitive? 
देर आर हे फार्ष्ट सबजेक्ट अफ भार्ड सबजेक्ट अफ भार्ड अबजेक्ट अफ भार्ड कम्प्लीमेंट अबजेक्ट अफ प्रिपोजिशन देर आर आई हाव डिसक फोर नेक्स्ट एबसोलिटलि इन एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड हे एबसोलिटलि इन एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड इंट्रोडक्शन एबसोलिटलि ए एसो एल यू टी एल वाई एबसोलिटलि इन एक्सप्लेनेशन explanation or interrogation absolutely in explanation or interrogation what is explanation and interrogation think that okay oh oh what to do Alas, how to do? This is what is absolutely in explanation. Everywhere there is two. The function of a uh, simple uh, infinitive two. Two must be there. In some cases, two is not used. In some verbs, ah, infinitive, the invisible, ah, uh, infinitive remain or uh, two remain invisible. So this is what is the simple infinitive. And there is another kind of infinitive that is called gerundial infinitive. and gerundial infinitive that will be uh, that will be uh, taught to you that will be taught you uh, in the next video this is what is the simple uh, infinitive that, that means such infinitive works as just just like uh, gerund gerund works as noun infinitive also works as noun gerund is formed by ing uh, acting as noun and infinitive is formed by uh, adding to acting as noun this is what is the analysis of my uh, what is the analysis of infinitive i think that you will have uh, clear knowledge uh over infinitive as much as i have uh, taught you here okay be happy keep learning and now remember one thing success and failure both are the two uh, things Re uh, never uh, never uh, uh, surrender yourself to uh, failure because failure is the pillar of success and never be overjoyed with success because excess uh, success sometimes success brings us uh, brings us down to the uh, to the ground so keep a balance and keep up learning learning is only the thing that is your constant friend ever learning and knowledge